Hello, my name is Peter and I'm going to be telling you guys how to work from home. Um, it looks like I just woke up, that's because I did, so please excuse the hair and the puffy vest and I'm, yeah, I'm not prepared, but I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to be telling you guys how to work from home. A lot of people have been wondering, how do you work from home? What websites are hiring to work from home or what's the paying? How do you do it? Where do you start from? So I'm going to tell you. Don't worry. All right. So we're going to jump right into this video. All right. So how I started working from home is an app. It's called Shift Smart. One word. Shift Smart. It's a blue and white app. You can download it on your phone. So how I found out about this app is my husband. He gave me the app because his stepmom showed him about the app. So when I first saw about this app, the app only had where you just work like at the gas station, like the Circle K, for instance. All I've seen so far is Circle K. I haven't seen nothing else but Circle K. You can go to the Circle K. They have different hours, like you work about four or five hours a day. And go, you can do it as the merchandiser, like stocking up the shelves and all this kind of stuff. Or you can do it as the cleaner. So soon. I was playing around on the app and I was just trying to figure out exactly about this app because at that time I was not working at my job that I have now. So, well, I did. I didn't start working, but I had the job. Okay. So then I looked and said, remote job. Remote is working at home. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's click this. So they had the part where you had to do like the application, then you have to set up your computer, which is easy. The trick about that is they're going to send you an email and it could take up to, if you do it right now, then it'll, it'll probably come at the end of the day or probably in the morning when you wake up. It'll be on there. So that's another thing about it. They take a long time to send the emails. Okay. So, all right. So after that, then you set up your computer. They're going to show you the app. It's the Dianata app. That's what the... Um, they use the system that they use called Dianata and they're going to help you set that up. They're going to give you a username and password. That's why it's going to take your whole day because they're going to give you your username and your password that you're going to be using to uh, do your remote work. So after that, after you get your password and your email, then you can jump right into the work. The work is easy. Are you basically what you're doing is just reading the script word from word. Now I will tell you, the people that they give you, they're gonna hang up in your face 99% of the time. Want to know why? Because I don't. I hang up on Talamar because I don't answer them. I hang up on their phone as, and I hang up in their face. As a matter of fact, I have on my phone where if you're not in my contacts, you're not gonna get answered because no, I don't know who you are. 99% of the time, it's people that I don't know and I don't want to talk to. If you want to talk to me, leave a voicemail. Anywho, so next thing you know, after that, I'm going to tell you the do's and don'ts. I mean, the parts that I do like, what I don't like, and I'm going to tell you everything about it. I'm going to tell you everything about it. Alright, so the first day when I started doing the remote work at the home, uh, it's easy to sign on. You have to go through a pre ship all right, so the pre-shift is when you have to go through a training for the first hour of your shift. To me, it doesn't make no sense any other day but the first day. But they make it so mandatory that, oh, you're going to have to go on there. Oh, because we're going to be talking about what you're going to be doing for that day. And honestly, they're not going to be talking about what they're going to be doing for that day. Lo usually in the pre-shift, it's a whole bunch of people telling you, what's going on with the computer if the system's down or they can't do anything or they can't do this or they can't do that or it's the first day okay no i'm not doing the free shift every day so normally when my shift starts i go straight to the go straight in go straight to the work go straight to the website go straight there and go to the interviewer go straight in there and do work i don't do the pre-shift only the first day first two days because i didn't know that it's really not important so the work itself the work itself is very easy. If you can read, it's very easy. Not throwing the shades, no pun intended. I'm being real serious. If you can read really good, you can read really fast, or you can read, just love to read. It doesn't, you don't even gotta love to read. If you just know how, it's easy. Because basically, you're reading word 
for word like everything you're saying is going to be on the screen so what they do is they're going to have a number when you log into the interviewer you're going to click what you're supposed to do for that day and then you're going to go straight to the word they're going to have a number pop up sometimes they're going to have automatic numbers so you're not going to have to type in no numbers i don't like that personally because when I did it that one day, it kind of messed up my whole system. The whole system was acting crazy on the on the uh, automatic. So I prefer to punch the numbers in itself. They're going to have a number. You're just going to type it on your keypad. And you're going to talk through your headset. You're going to have to have a headset. It's going to have to be uh, plugged into your laptop. I don't know why, but you're going to have to have it plugged into your laptop. You can use a game headset. Like, you got a game, play the game, use that plugging into your computer problem solved. You ain't even got to go out and buy none, none of that. So yeah, um you're gonna have to use the keypad to type in the numbers. You have to use the keypad to type in the numbers. <clears throat> then once you type in the numbers you're gonna press enter and then you're gonna have to read word from word. If they answer try to read they're gonna have to tell you they're gonna tell you to at least have one um production rate uh which is you're gonna have to have one call complete call go through my first day i didn't get no first complete calls my second day i actually got two complete calls it surprised me which was cool but you know it could be better but like i said on the other end of the telemarketer world i'm hanging up on people i'm not answering their phone calls i'm not doing none of that so that's cool but anyway so next we're gonna be talking about the pay um for different remote um shifts that they have available they're gonna have different pay from ten dollars to about thirteen dollars i haven't seen nothing more than that i didn't see one time they had fifteen dollars an hour so basically some you're gonna have you're gonna at least work four or five hours nothing more nothing less i mean i haven't seen anything so far but nothing more, nothing less. And like I said, between ten to about fifteen dollars. I say nine to fifteen dollars. I didn't see anything other than ten dollars, but that might have something nine. I probably skipped over it. But between nine to fifteen dollars an hour for about four or five hours a day. So you get paid instantly, but you get paid the next day. If you have a debit card, credit credit card, debit card, any kind of card load it up that's compatible to it you can instant pay your pay the next day or you can wait for a check or they think they give you a card i think they give you like a debit reloadable card a shift smart card or something if you don't have a card and you want to get paid by a card instead of check they can give you that too i believe so i'm not quite sure because like i said i got my own card my own account so i put it straight to my stuff and they have the instant pay like after your shift they'll tell you what you work and how much you're going to get paid in the morning time it's going to be a confirmed how much you're going to get paid then it's going to pop up on this little screen it has like a little a light bulb electric uh electric shop um and it's going to have like a dollar sign on it too it's going to be at the top screen at the buy eye and you're going to click that, and it's going to have instant pay. It's going to tell how much you earned for that day, and it's going to say withdraw. When you press withdraw, it's going to automatically withdraw into your account of your, of your choice. And I think that's cool. If you want to make a, a few dollars the next day uh, for the next day for gas or something, or you can actually make it like a permanent thing. I So far, I have not made it a permanent thing just yet because, like I said, I do work another job. But, you know, if things don't work out at that job, I'm definitely going to make this a permanent. And again, they do have the Circle K if you want to actually go to work. I did not hear so many good things about it. I'm not going to do it personally because I didn't sign up. I didn't do that. Didn't get the app for that. I was I honestly wanted to see if they had work at home. And surprise, 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 they did. Um, the, what they're going to be talking about in the um, work, the reading that part. It's political. A lot of the things that I've seen are political. And it's going to be talking about different states and whatever state of the choice that they pick to give you to call. It's 
basically that. It's political. I'm being straight up honest. I haven't seen nothing other than political. I don't like it, but hey, easy money, right? It's another thing that I don't like. Um, their system glitches a lot, and they're gonna be sending you emails. I've got like a thousand emails. Um, while I was doing my shift that you're not screen sharing you have to screen share you have to have to have to screen share it's automatically going to screen share my problem was they said oh you're going to have to have a screen share you're not, you're not sharing your screen so we're going to kick you out for the day you log out and da, da, da. that was that one time and I was like I was sending pictures on my phone from my computer to my phone and sending it to them in the app showing them that I'm online. I am screen sharing. I haven't stopped screen sharing since I logged in today. You know, I don't stop screen sharing at all, by the way. They kicked me out that one time and it really pissed me off. And I had to tell them, like, look, y'all can't do that no more. I done sent y'all thousands of pictures, all shipped of me being on there. And I really have proof and I still have the proof in my phone today. So, like, y'all can't sit there and say that y'all, I didn't have it. Um, other than that, didn't really have too many problems um the login is easy the signing up is easy they're gonna send you you can either send it have it where you can set up for them to send you a text message for your ship that's what i do that's how i get my ship and they book quick those ships go quick so if they send your team if you set up for um text messages alerts which is, i think you should recommend that you do those ships are gonna go quick like they're gonna send you a ship for the day or next week or whatever you gotta have to say yes real quick once you see it, click yes and you go back on the app you correct it and change it up or pick another out pick another ship do whatever but you have to be quick cause them ships go quick and i did not know it was a lot of people actually doing this it's a lot of people actually doing this so you gotta go quick you gotta go quick you gotta do it quick and they expect you to be real quick on your calls um 30 seconds anything after 30 seconds you have to hang up and go to the next call they're gonna tell you you're going too slow you have to make these faster calls uh at least make about a hundred and a hundred calls an hour at least a hundred calls an hour um other than that i think shift smart is like a eight out of ten i don't think it's a bad app i don't think it's a bad i think they could do a little bit more uh, have a little bit more different remote things other than political. Um, other than that, I think the pay is cool. Oh, another thing. They don't really respond quick enough. Like, if you send a message in the app, they're not going to respond automatically. And when they do, on my experience, when they do send it automatically, it's not going to be nothing about what you just asked. I'm like... I asked for this. Y'all telling me about something else. What about the work for the night? I didn't ask about that. I want to know about my question that I asked. Y'all not answering none of my questions. So they're not really good at answering questions. They can be better on communication because their communication really sucks. But if you know what you're doing, you it, it should be easy. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you for listening to my video. Give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.